Show me the meaning of being alone. No. He's like, he's like, ah. That's not how it started. I walked in and I was like, you are my, my fire. fire. The one desire. desire. Believe when, when I, I say, say I want it that way. way. Tell me why. Okay. It's like, it's like what? Yeah, we yeah. love you. Bevin is just chilling beside us. He has his fun time right now. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another... Truthful Thursday. Yeah. So we are back answering another email, and without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's... Read the email. Wow, a lot the, of messages. Let's pull up the email. It's the first Who's one, correct? messaging you when I'm sitting right here? Is this one right here? Um, no, let's do this email. Alrighty. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hi, Raheem and Saba. <laughs> so this is kind of awkward, but I've never actually seen a video of yours where a male needs advice, so I'm not sure if you'll answer it, but it's worth a shot. Actually, I do get emails from males who need advice. Yeah, it's just a matter if they get chosen at random or not. Mm. But I think we've done meals before. I, so. I am actually emailing you because my fiance w watches you quite often. Fiance. Fiance. <laughs> fiance watches you quite often and I thought maybe she'll run across this video and take your advice. Or maybe she won't, but at least I tried. So I am emailing you because we were supposed to get married in July, but due to COVID restrictions, we had to postpone. Oh my God, so many people. Yeah. We haven't decided on a new date and I actually don't plan to until I figure something out. Let me just be straight up. She talks to her ex-boyfriend. Oh, that kind of took a turn really fast. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't even read the subject line. Okay, it's okay. Keep going now. Was, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if we loved, read the subject line, we'd be like, well. Like it, okay, yeah, I went like the so. That took a that that took a turn. That fast. was zero to hundred real quick. It was <laughs> just like we haven't decided on a on a on a new. <laughs> Everything just laughed at you like half. We haven't decided on a date and I actually don't plan to until I figure something out. So let me be straight up. She still talks to her ex-boyfriend. Before you ask, yes, I knew about this going on into the relationship. No, it didn't bother me at first. Okay. Yes, she, she dated him right before me and they dated for two years. That's Whoa, that's seen to be a long action. We've known each other for almost four and we're instantly dating after a month of text. She wasn't super close to him before. When we first started dating, it would be once a week at most that they would just message like, hey, what's up? But since the past year or so, they've gotten, uh, they've gotten to be more, okay, way more. Now they text all the time, hang out, call each other's BFFs. It's kind of awkward, but when I'm around, uh, sorry guys, I'm not making faces because I'm, uh, I am yeah, mean so anything, I'm just making faces because I, like, I just, I'm just a weird So I'm gonna, re I'm, I'm gonna reread the last part, and it, and it is kind of awkward when I am around, makes sense. Am I jealous? Yes. Do I trust her? Yes. But why does she have no. this need to talk to him when I'm here all the time? Sometimes she'll be... get, uh, sometimes she'll get off my call early just to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I spoke, yeah, he's getting upset too. He like, this not okay? Yeah, this cheesing me. Okay, I spoke to her about yeah. how I don't like her being friends with him because I feel like she still has feelings. He still has feelings for her, but she doesn't always, ha but she always has a comeback and tells me he doesn't. This is really affecting our relationship and I don't know what to do. We've also stopped talking yeah. about wedding planning, but that's maybe just because of all the uncertainty. I don't know. Am I just overthinking? If not, can you knock some sense into her? Her name is blank, so feel free to call her out straight. Wow, I appreciate it. <laughs> her name, her name, he gave her name and he's like, feel free to That's not a very healthy way of dealing with this. <laughs> I'm gonna use our past experiences. Uh, when me and Subba were, were friends in university because we had, we had mutual friends, uh, Subba being super cool and popular, uh, had a lot, of, a lot of friends that were guys. I had a lot of friends. I yeah, guess some both of both guys and girls, right? But they uh, were. It was more of like a like you know those classmate type friends. It was yeah. never like it was never like. Yeah, no, but it was, it was never it was, like no, that. But, no, no, no. Of course not. But it was kind of like 
if you if she had a group she had like different groups of friends and there were guys and girls it was yeah. normal like all of them were friends yeah yeah right it wasn't like specifically the friend <laughs> yeah. with this person and i was, was very like, i was a very big like tomboy i think i still am but i was yeah. like a very guy at heart yeah. so it'd be like it'd be like hey you want to go play basketball okay let's go but it was like that from from a guy to a guy so from me to you guys can tell when other guys like a girl yeah it's, it's very easy she argued with me quite a lot when i told her a couple of her friends for sure have a crush on her or like her more than just a friend she did like no she didn't. yeah she disagreed with me for a while i think after things became serious between us they just stopped talking to me and that's when like we kind of had a hint and then one of oh, my friends then, told me she was like yeah yeah she's like because yeah, i was like hey why aren't you why aren't you talking to me this not like why don't you want to go run some ball anymore and then and then my friends were like oh yeah no the second part Which now is that's one step but Saba being Saba obviously being completely I guess understanding in this case I wasn't comfortable Aww. with some I wasn't comfortable with some so when I asked her to stop like stop talking to them she she did she yeah. didn't I was like if it doesn't make you comfortable then yeah like see there was nothing wrong with it because because obviously there was no like there there was no um what's that like attraction or any yeah. sort of thing between me yeah. and those friends it was like we have 15 girls there's like five guys there that i would have friends with too and like most of the time those guys were like cousins of like some of my girlfriends yeah, yeah, yeah. right so yeah like it was never it was never anything weird or anything but no, once no, where he was no. like where he was like i'm not comfortable with no there were only some then, yeah right? there were only and two in but i was never but to be fair i wasn't ever you knew me I, i'm not a jealous type i was never uncomfortable Dean doesn't like this topic. But, He's like, this but is my bad thing topic. was, I'm like, yo, if we're if we're serious, there's no benefit to being friends with this person. That like it never phased yeah. me because for me, he was already number one in my life. So like, it's kind of weird to me that like you guys are engaged and you're not number one. The yes. fact that she hang, like, see, I would have said the, everything the, you said was was really weird. Yeah, like like the fact that they're friends, I'd be like, okay, fine. You know, sometimes sometimes people's situations are different. They can be friends, but the fact that she's hanging up her phone calls with you to talk to him to talk to him is where I, my mind kind of goes, what? That's not normal. Yeah, that's that's not okay. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what advice to give in this situation because I don't know everything. Obviously, I don't know her side of it. Maybe like she's just like, no, we're completely platonic. Like, it also depends on what age that they consider each other boyfriend, girlfriend. Like, were you guys boyfriend, girlfriend in grade eight or nine? Or no, but then they said that it was right before this relationship. I don't know what to say, but it does. It doesn't sound good, to be honest. Yeah, uh, I think I think you know what I we could be wrong because she could their relationship could be completely different. We're just maybe overthinking this. Um, maybe, maybe like she just talks to him, like no, she sees no. him as a brother. So maybe I will have a conversation with her and see if he actually. Where he's like reading the email again. He's in shock. You're my drug. I love you, Jenny. Okay, so I. So think good. You need to talk to her and be like, be like, hey, like I need to be number one in your life because you're number one in mine. Like we can't have other people between our relationship that we put before each other because that's where it's a little bit weird. The fact that like you're number two to her and there's this other guy that's number one who she used to date. It's kind of like a movie, like those, you know, those like uh, high school type, yeah. and, and, like Hollywood type movies. I'm still so confused, guys. But yeah, like there's not a lot of advice I can give aside from the fact that like you really need to talk to her and tell her like. Like I am not okay with this, and like if you can't it, it, give up, a give up, like not give up that friendship, but like tone no, it down no, a little bit at least. Not like, even tone it down. I would say I need like, to come first. You need yeah, to say that. Yeah, exactly. I, honestly, if I was in your shoes, it's not even about toning it down. I would just be like, yeah, you gotta at least for a while cut him off. And yeah. if she's not comfortable with cutting him off, cutting him off, something's not right. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, as an example, Saba cut off those people in a heart. I get it. I got him. No. And then I got him. Yeah. So then I don't need him. I'm just <laughs> there is actually something between them. It will turn into a fight. Like I, I can guarantee you that like the open conversation isn't going to be a good one. She'll probably argue and fight and stuff and tell you that she's never going to stop being friends with him. At which point, if, she, if, gonna, she, if she's ready yeah. to put your relationship in jeopardy exactly. for him as a friend, that's when you're going to have to make a decision if you're going to be okay being number two.
Well, obviously you shouldn't or be. Or if you're going to be okay with somebody actually coming in between your relationship. So, so. We're going to end this, this video short because I'm going to go put my baba down. He's getting tired now, okay? Or he just wants some playtime. So I'm going to go spend some time with him. We're going to end the video short, but... Um, if I didn't give enough advice in this video, can if any of you guys maybe have certain similar situations you've been through and stuff, let us know in the comment section below so whoever needed the advice can always read it and get some more yeah. advice from the rest of you guys. But yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys, because we gotta go. So until the next video, guys, take care. Keep smiling and peace out.